if you look at someone's habits, you get to know what they're gonna become, right? So if someone's exercising every day, would you predict that they're gonna get fitter or get less fit? The answer's obvious, right? But let's apply that to our whole lives. If you wanna become something, you need to put in those habits in place to become that person. It's not just gonna come out of thin air. You can't just make things happen if you don't instill it in ha into your life from the first place. So like, for me, I'm on this constant drive to put the habits in place that will get me to where I wanna go. So to that end, I'm trying to wake up as early as possible. Now, I'm still getting my eight, eight hours sleep or as much sleep as I need, but I'm trying to reduce that time so I can get as much of my day as possible. I read daily, I meditate daily, I exercise daily. I eat well, I've cut sugar and I've been going maybe sugar free for about a month and a half now. The reason I'm saying these things is that if I don't instill those habits, if I don't continue to sort of every day live that life, I know that I won't get to a particular place that I wanna be in my future. So let's look at something that I don't do well. I've got a guitar at home. I don't practice daily. I don't have good habits with my guitar. I play it randomly for my son when he wants, but I don't prioritize it. So what's the chances that I'm gonna become a good guitar player anytime soon? Probably nil. I mean, I play it maybe three times a week, just randomly strumming for maybe a couple of minutes. There's no chance I'm gonna become a good guitar player. Why? Because I haven't instilled those habits into my life and sort of kept those habits going all the way through. So why does this matter to you? Well, if you've got a goal, if you know where you want to be, if you want to be something, you know, if you're like, I want to be a professional sports player, I want to get this job, I want to be this sort of thing, I want to look a particular way, I want to be rich, whatever it is. If you know where you're going, look at what a person at that place is currently doing and start adding the little things to your life. Obviously, you won't be able to do exactly what they're doing right now. But let's say, like for me, I want to be a writer. I've got a bunch of books that I'm in the process of writing and I've already released a couple. So for me, I go, well, what are the habits of a professional writer? A professional writer reads every day and they write every day. How do I know that? Well, I looked into authors that I like. So for example, I'm, I'm a big fan of Stephen King. So I've looked up a bunch of his speeches and lectures where he talks about his writing process. What does he say? Well, he says to read every day and write every day. And you know, you get the same advice from a lot of famous authors. They always say to read and write every day. That's the habits that you need to instill. So for me, I'm like, okay, I'll instill that into my life. I also wanna get quite fit. I want my body to be as fit and healthy as possible and to look as good as possible. So what habits can I instill to make that happen? So like I said, I exercise daily and I've cut sugar from my life. I will research and look into different dietary habits, eating patterns and exercise regimes. Who's, whose advice do I trust? Well, I look over, you know, if you ask anyone for dietary advice or exercise advice, everyone's got an opinion but I'll look at the results that those people are getting before I trust them. So if I, look at, if I look at two people and one of them is not fit and the other one is fit, I'll trust the fit person's advice exponentially more than the unfit person's advice because the fit person is doing it. So when I first started exercise training, I had a couple of friends that were built, they were massive, and a bunch of other people in my life that weren't. I went to the people that were massive to get the advice on how to get, you know, how to get stronger myself. How do I exercise? What foods do I eat? What do I do? And of course, their advice sent me down the right path because they're clearly doing it. So the habits that I have learned to instill, I get them from people that are at the level that I want to be at, and I start working out from there. So the same thing's true for mental states. Physical exercise helps, but also with meditation. So who can I go to for meditation advice? Well, for me, there's a bunch of different books or concepts that I've looked at. For example, Mindfulness in Plain English and 10% Happier are good places to start. Why do I trust these books? Because, well, you know, the people that have written them have, have been there, they've done that. They've instilled those sort of things. So I trust their advice, I take their advice and I instill those habits into my life. So every day I meditate for about eight to 10 minutes in the morning and then about eight to 10 minutes at night. This is a small habitual change and over time I'll slowly get more and more and more. But once again, it's all about instilling what I want to become now to get me to the place I want to be. So let's apply this to your life. Work out where you want to get to. Work out the habits that you need to instill now to get you there. You know, if you need to learn something, 
How can you instill the habit of learning into your life? If you need to get some physical skills, how can, how can you instill those habits? If you need to earn more money, if you need to do something, what can you do right now, every day, to slowly change your life, to get you to a place where you can start accomplish, accomplishing those dreams that you want to become? It's up to you to figure that out and up to you to start implementing them. I'll always suggest to go slow. So don't, don't do what I did and start instantly doing this massive change because I guarantee you, you'll fail. So for me, when I started exercising, I implemented my friend's regime straight away, and of course I was not able to cope with it. Uh, first week was fine, second week got worse, third week I quit because my muscles and my mind and just my lifestyle just didn't cope, didn't, didn't match what, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't keep up doing what my friend was doing. I just wasn't used to it. So if you know what you want to become, work out what they're doing, but slowly, slowly, incrementally move up to that because if you do it too fast, you'll fail. But what about for the other people that don't really know what they want to do? And I know that there's a lot of you watching that that basically are either in that survival mind frame, so you've come from a traumatic past or you've had a similar past to mind where you've been sort of in that survival mode and you're not even thinking about thriving or pursuing your dreams, or, you're, or you just haven't really thought about it. For you guys, that's your first step. The, the habits that you should instill should be one of contemplation, should be one of thinking about what you want to be doing. So how can you do that? Well, speak to the speak to different people in your life. Ask them what they're doing and if they enjoy it. Really look at people when you're out and about and go, do I want to be doing that? What do you like? What interests you? What do you want to be doing for the rest of your life? Because, you know, the retirement age from in Australia where I'm from is gone has gone up to 70 years. That means that from about the ages of 20 to 70, you are working. Now, imagine doing 50 years of work in something you don't want to be doing. It'd be much better to start figuring out what you want to be, what you want to be doing, and how you want to be living now, rather than waiting years and going down a path you don't necessarily enjoy. So start thinking about it, start considering all the different options, keep your eyes open, look at people and what they're doing and where they are, and really think about what you're enjoying and start applying that to your life, because the sooner you start, the sooner you'll get there. And just, you know, on that topic, there are so many things that I wish I had started years ago that I just haven't. And you know, I mentioned guitar earlier, and that's one of them. I know in the future I'm gonna wish, I wish I had put in that time for practicing guitar. So it's one of these things that I'm gonna to have to try and slot in some practice time for, but I guarantee there will, there will be things like that for you as well. There'll be things that in the future you wish you had started now. Start thinking, make your future self thank you. Make your future self go, yes, I'm so grateful I started eating well, or exercising daily, or meditating, or practicing, or learning that skill. Because in the future, you've, you're just the accumulation of what you are now. All of the habits will end up becoming you. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment below and let me know what habits you're gonna start implementing in your life. Thank you.